My name's Guy Kesterman. I've been a professional biking kit tester for over 25 years, but this is a properly extreme mission. Part of our Titus exploration of Morocco, Morocco on the Gold Rush. And Ryan's riding the Silk Road as well, the Adventure MTB. So I'll be doing a review video on both of those. I'll be doing a little story video and I'll be doing a tech talk video on both of those. And that's what I'm just going to do now while we're waiting for the photographer and the guide. So, this is the Gold Rush. 3AL 2.5V titanium, so aerospace grade tubing, with some, just some nice subtle tubing details on it. Not, not the easiest to see here, but you've got tapered head tube there, that nice machined Titus badge in there. You've got a slight bit of ovalization on the down tube, and then a lot more pronounced ovalization. Let me see it, let it shine in the sun on the top tube there to just add a bit of vertical compliance and a bit of lateral stiffness, that old cliche, but I have to say it really does work. That Selkoff fork there, full carbon fork with the trouser mounts, everything, cage mounts, whatever you want to call them. An extra bit of luggage on there, plus you've got mudguard mounts if you need them. And this has got external cabling throughout on it. Hasn't got a dropper post mount, but obviously, as you can see here, this is the SRAM Rival Axis Wireless spec. So, you've got the battery on the back there, and then it's all controlled up front there. No cables, no wires. Just really good, simple, clean lines. And just weird things like, you know, it makes it taking the rear mech off a lot easier for traveling and packing and stuff like that. And an absolute godsend when you're in terrain like this, you've got that. 1044 tooth cassette on the back, and then you've got a 40 tooth chainring on the front. And you can see there's a you know some really nice detailing on the frame here. You've got this fully CNC machined adjustable drop out here, so you can if you want to run it at single speed, that lets you take up the tension in a single speed system, or you can just use it to uh, alter the geometry. You can see you've got it on the uh, longer wheelbase setting here, so it's a bit more stable, a bit steadier on the descents. But if you want to, you can bring that back end in tighter for a bit more uh, responsiveness but as you can see it gives me huge tire clearances there i mean you could go really really big on a 700c in the back here these are only a 40 but you can see loads of tire space and then you've got this really neat cnc machined plate in behind the uh, chainstay on the drive side which uh, gives you clearance for the chainring and for plenty of tire space and obviously you can set this up 650b if you want I've gone for 700C just because it's easier rolling and I also tick the box to upgrade the tyres to these Hutchinson tubeless ready Tuaregs because A it seems appropriate that we're in desert Africa that I've got a uh, Tuareg tyre on and also that tubeless uh, float and carcass and hopefully survivability making a real difference. But also, I mean talking about the geometry, as you can see it's a really compact frame. It's a lot of seat posts showing, which just makes it, you know, it's just an added bit of comfort. It means you've got plenty of space for your bike packing bag there. I've got these pod sacks bag on. Uh, again, that's another Planet X product. So just, you know, what they call pro quality at a really fair price. And to be fair, I'd say, to be honest, uh, a ridiculously fair price, not just, uh, not just fair. I mean, this bike is two and a half thousand pounds with wireless and a titanium frame and a bunch of features on it. And uh, the range starts at 2000 with standard rival. Uh, the only, th oh, and to going back to the geometry again, not only are you compact, so it feels nice and agile underneath you, you can move it around and you've got that comfort of a longer seat post. But the head tube, 69.5 degree head angle, which is proper slack for a gravel bike. And it's a bit of wander uphill on uh, you know the more rocky sections we've been traversing, but Oh, that stability going down is just so welcome. It just makes it a lot more relaxing. We did about 80 miles yesterday. Uh, and if you watch the adventure video, you'll see we kind of ended up in the dark, having to commandeer a transit. Luckily it got us to this little, uh, I don't know who it was, just somebody's house we ended up staying in. But God, they were so grateful for how welcoming they were. But yeah, so there's a ton of video content coming out of this. And if you really want to know how the bike rides, make sure you watch the live ride review as well. But the one thing I would say uh, with the rival axis spec and all these features on the titanium frame, 
does make it relatively heavy. So this bike comes in at 10 kilos, but you know, you've got everything you need for an extended bikepacking trip and that, you know, extra stability and the extra adjustability at the back end. I think if that's what you're looking for and a really, really rub, obviously a super robust frame, it comes with a lifetime warranty. And, you know, when we were chucking bikes on the top of a transit van last night in the dark, we didn't have to worry about scratching the paintwork at all. So, you know, a lot of bonuses there, just a little extra mass because of that. So that's the Tech Talk review done. Uh, I mean, I might add bits later if more things become apparent, uh, um, but obviously there's a live ride review as well. So make sure you catch up on that and make sure you clock into the one on the Titus Silk Road as well. It's like saying is the Adventure MTB that Ryan is riding. So lots of content coming out of this trip to Morocco. Uh, Mick will be shooting features. We've got Simon here from Global Bike Adventures, who's uh, leading us into uh, splendid misadventures already. And uh, yeah, it's a hell of a trip, but going great so far. So yeah, make sure you subscribe, click for notifications, uh, give this video a thumbs up, like, and keep watching on my channel and on Planet X for more and more content about this whole adventure. And if you really like what I'm doing on the channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon for a small amount per month, because that really makes a difference to the sustainability of the channel. But for now, I've been Guy Kestevan on Guy Kest TV in the middle of Morocco, talking about the Titus Gold Rush Titanium Adventure Bike. It's a beauty. <laughs>